everybody, Muriel here. I have a card share I wanted to share with you. I um, came in my craft room today and um, had a great time making these cards. I am using a paper pad that I've had for some time now. It's the Maggie Holmes um, Style Board. It's a six by six by six paper pad. Really nice to work with. I first visited over on Pinterest. Um, her. Uh, Pinterest page just to kind of get some ideas on the style and if there was any inspiration and there was plenty um, with this particular collection so I really love love the colors and I wanted something that would match with the um, hangers that I most recently made because once I share these cards I want to give the hanger with it so the person can hang it on their wall in their home so I um, am using this paper pad um, I'll show you what else some things that I use. I use one of the buttons from this crepe paper on Trend Collection. It just has that Maggie Home feel, look, style to me. And I pulled out this, um, again, from Maggie Holmes. These are, um, they call them layered stickers but they look like pennants. And I think I picked them up at Tuesday morning so I used all four of those. I made a total of five cards. So I used all four of those. And I used a couple of sentiments from this uh, Cricut, car, Cricut collection uh, close to my heart. It's called Just to Say. So there's lots of um, short, sweet, quick sentiments. And I pulled out some dies. I used the oval. I used the scalloped, the inside and the outside, and the fishtail banner. And to go with the Maggie Home paper collection, I have the Maggie Holmes uh, Ephemera Pack, but this is the Open Door Collection. And uh, it's amazing that they kind of crossed over, so I was able to use lots of these pieces to go with the collection. And as you know, when you get these Ephemera Packs, they come with hundreds, you know, of pieces. This has got to be at least 50 or 60, and, you know, you just can't use one. So I tried to use at least four ephemera pieces on each card and I just keep them in these iris cases it just makes it uh, easy for me when I purchase these open up the pack tear the packaging off it and put it here and label it so I know uh, exactly what I have and what's inside so I also pulled out some of my wooden sequins which I love using around the summertime um, so let me show you um, you saw the hangers that I made but I'll show you um, one of the cards. These cards are all five by five and I just um, am using craft cardstock for paper and um, I just did lots of layering again with the pendant. Uh, here's some of the ephemera pieces and then the paper pad has a the very first page this sheet here and I guess this is what you can use. You can cut all those words apart, those tags apart and uh, use them on your card so that's what I did so I have this cute uh, admit one cut out here and then um, the word love right there and I have some of the sequence the wooden sequence on this card and it's really simple these cards are just cards that I can send to friends who I haven't talked to in a while just to make some kind of connection um, and then the inside is finished is very simple um, where I could just write a little message and I thought I would couple this one with this hanger I think that would look really good I just need to put the uh, clips on and this person can hang this in their um, home or on their office wall and then I have this card here and I've begun to um, package them but um, I said well let me show you guys first so here's another one with lots of in the uh, ephemera pieces um, it has this beautiful camera up front and then I covered it with this uh, E was from a tag I cut it out and then uh, this piece here says miscellaneous photos and then I stamped the word miss you here there's another one of the ephemera pieces photographer notes and then that gold um, kind of calendar card in the back and then this was a beautiful brown frame and I just cut it in half and used a piece on the left and on the right side. And then another one of the cutouts that say happy day. And then special order and I'm using some jute twine like, um, like a package. Okay, same thing. Very simple on the inside. I'm also using some of the tags on the back. I'm using that handmade with love and you sign your name 
Um, so I'm kind of really trying to go through the ephemera packs. And this one here, I thought I would couple with this hanger. Thought that would look really cute. And, you know, once I, you know, give the card with the hanger, it should be, <laughs> I hope the person likes it. I hope they know what to do with it. So then here's another card. Again, I said I made five. This one here, I used some black twine that I got from um, Reasonably Ribbon. I did a haul there some time ago and I was looking through my stash and found it. It's, it's really nice. It's kind of like the same American Craft threads. And then here's this pennant here. I cut out some stars with some of the silver um, ephemera that I found inside. There is a City Park Festival ticket. And then here I stamped the word hello. And then I use one of the cutouts from the page that says sweetheart here. And then another ephemera piece. So at least, like I said, at least four you know, to five pieces of ephemera on the cards. Here is the frame that I cut out with the scallop die and I used the inside of it on another card. The inside again, very, very simple and I thought I would couple it with this hanger. Okay, the next one here was a nice size bingo card that came in the ephemera pack, black with white writing. So I coupled it with this uh, pennant uh, it had this silver frame. I used the uh, On Trend Brad on top of that pennant, some of the um, cream twine, and then one of the cutouts says Fun Times. Made me think of when I used to go play bingo. And then the inside again, done really simple. And I thought I will couple that with this hanger. And this hanger has a really pretty um, flower. I think that's from Recollections because the background of this page has flowers, so I thought that would be really good. And it has the um, word band that says, life is about creating yourself. So, okay, that's the fourth one. And then the last one here I did, and I was trying to let the uh, word, the sticker die, sticker dry, excuse me. So here is this one here. This was a pennant that um, had this beautiful flower on top and I layered it with this um, Viewmaster uh, ephemera piece that came with it. Here is the inside of the scallop die and this one also has the oval die that I cut out of that red paper in the back or pink or whatever color. And then I use this in, in ephemera piece and stamp the word good luck from the stamp set. It also has some wooden sequence and um, on the inside, ver really, really simple. And then I just use that on the back to sign my name. And I thought I would couple that card with this hanger. And then I cut the uh, word uh, sweet memories out. Okay. And this one is, um, as I mentioned, I, when I created the hanger, I put the, what is that, the um, label through it. You can see it's kind of bent to the back, sorry. And then I just glued Sweet Sentiments on top. So that will really look cute, coupled together. So that, how much fun I've been having with this collection. Oh, and then here's one. This is a card that I made last week, which kind of got me started with, um, coming back in the craft room. I pulled out all the collection and I just kind of did this, but I knew that I wanted to uh, layer them more. And a lot of these other cards have um, dimensional stickers behind them. So they're all popped up. A lot of the ephemera is backed up with chipboard, which I got it, that idea from Arlene over at My Butterfly Kisses so that it uh, stays strong and lasts longer. I just pull out my pack of chipboard pieces that I have and whatever size the ephemera is, I just put one of these on the back and it makes it a lot sturdier. So this is one that I just had started day one and of course I will do the inside, but I thought it would be cute coupled with this hanger. And this word band says, reality has limits, imagination is boundless. So really fun. I'm hoping that, um, you know, who I'll give these cards to, they'll be able to display them uh, in their office if they work outside the home or display them in their home. These hangers are just adorable. I showed um, a, tu not a tutorial, but the tutorial is over on um, Amador's channel. Um, he does a really good job. That's why I, I won't duplicate the tutorial. He does a really good job of explaining 
um, where you get the wire from and uh, the tools that are needed and all that good stuff so I appreciate you guys watching if any of you are new to my channel um, this is Miss Cooper's Coop and I love doing all things crafty I've just been kind of out of the loop for a minute but I'm getting my groove back and I appreciate you stopping by and visiting and I hope that you all um, enjoy what you've seen here again this is the crepe paper Maggie Holmes paper collection style board that I use to create these fun cards. So thanks again for watching. Bye now.